So this is the last phase of surgery phi 2 and we read like this question in the previous video. This is a patient that is having uh, hydronemothorax and they're asking us what is, notice the question is about first aid. So what first aid should be provided to this um, victim? So the first aid we need is this patient is to create a puncture of the pleural cavity as, is as first aid. So you need puncture of the pleural cavity that would uh, let out the air. A patient one day after surgery for diffuse toxic goiter. Notice signs of hyperthyroidism in this patient. You see cold sweats, uh, tachypnea, tachycardia, increase in body temperature, and so on. What is the early post-operative complication that occurred in this patient is hyper is thyrotoxic crisis. Thyrotoxic crisis. Is a patient with a uh, congenital renal abnormality. My thought, because they are third, uh, we patient has third degree of hydronephrosis. Must have begun from one to, and then you can see additional artery running towards the kidney, and that is these uh, abnormal formations are part of the reason why. The patient is having a uh, secondary arterial hypertension. So specify the therapeutic in this kind of patient is surgical intervention that is needed to correct such abnormality. All right, uh, a patient is having uh, a tumor somewhere. I can see that the there's voice hoarseness, weight loss, and the symptoms have gradually been progressing for like three months. Esophagogatoscopy revealed no pathology yet. There are supraclavicular lymph node enlargement. So, which of the following studies is most appropriate? Is you want to check the whole chest and medial sternum, and that is you do that by uh, taking the patient to a CT, computer tomography of chest and medial sternum. Also, this is a patient that is having a uh, sinusitis. But how do we know which one? They will tell you that the patient has right maxillary premolar being at it being filled some days or months or weeks back. So that's the cause of this and this is the only option that supports that chronic superlative odontogenic see from the teeth, odontogenic sinusitis. A patient is having postoperative hypothyroidism. How do you uh, prevent that? By giving her thyroidism. Right, this is a, a patient with bronchial asthma, history of bronchial asthma, and the patient on inhaling sabotamol forgot to remove the cap which he mistakenly aspired. How do you get out such a foreign body out of a patient? You know, the, one of the most common procedures is to do the Emlish maneuver. Stand behind the patient, patients at the front, bend the patient and go and trust suddenly. So the patient can bring out the foreign object to perform Emlish maneuver. A person can be declared dead if the following sign is present. You can see all these signs, you can find a patient that is unconscious and so on. But when you see cadaver spots, that's when you declare you can, one of the major signs can make you declare a patient as dead. Again, repeated question. Okay, we have a patient here with uh, hypothermia. We discussed about this before. Surely their pressure will be 35 degrees or less. Um, so they are asking us to give treatment for this particular patient. The basic treatment out of all this option is to uh, give a warm bait with intravenous administration of warm solutions. It's boost the patient's temperature back gradually to the uh, normal. Alright, uh, this patient is a patient with left-sided destructive pneumonia. And the x-ray shows a shadow reaching five, uh, the fifth tube with horizontal fluid level and radio listen. So you want to drain it. You know, just like uh like power thorax already. So the mediastinum is displaced to the right. What is the medical uh what is the medical tactics? So, and that is by creating an opening and that is a thoracostomy. You create an external you create an opening to drain uh, such uh pus. Of course they will give antibiotics and so on. 26 year old male patient consulted a doctor about sore throat, fever up to 38. 
patient had uh, we still didn't follow medical uh, recommendations the tonsillar abscess the tonsillitis left peritonsillar region is left peritonsillar region is markedly apparemic and swollen what is provisional diagnosis they've made this question so so simple already so left sided peritonsillar abscess patient previously with uh, queens and right is having left peritonsillar enlargement this is a peritonsillar abscess of the left specifically again question repeated <coughs> Yes, this uh, we spoke about something similar to this earlier. They give you signs and symptoms of a patient that is having uh, prostatic hyperplasia, and then they tell you about the prostate specific antigen. I would say it's about two to four, and some instances up to five. And here is five. If it's a patient with prostate carcinoma, they will tell us PSA is about 50, 60, and such large amounts. What is the most likely disease to have caused acute urinary retention? This is a patient with uh, prostatic hyperplasia. You can see because of the low level of PSA, which is common in cancer. Okay, four months old child and abdomen is soft, palpation with tumor like formation in the right iliac area. Right iliac area. I'm sure you are thinking of the organs that we have there right now. So, after rectal examination, doctor's finger was stained with blood. So, most correct answer in this. Uh, particular patient in combination with the symptom is this an ileocecal invagination ileocecal invagination that's why it's giving a tumor like formation it's an ileocecal invagination all right again a patient with a uh, fracture together with signs of infection but we said that is post traumatic uh, osteomyelitis post traumatic osteomyelitis 40 year old female patient complains having a bulge on the anterior surface of the neck for five years. Despite this uh, goiter, the patient is having normal prostate, tablet pressure is normal, and so on. Right lobe of thyroid gland is a formation of 4 by 2. Basic metabolic rate is 6. What is the most likely that this patient is not secreting uh, uh, thyroid hormone excessively? That's why everything is normal. So this is a patient with uh, a no that anytime you have normal that is ill thyroid, ill thyroid. So this is a nodular form, nodular anterior bulge node, four by seven node. This is a nodular form, nodular a thyroid goiter. So they are giving us the characteristics of a placenta or of umbilical cord that was normal. That is that can only be found in a patient that was delivered alive. So, yes, this newborn is late, but body weight is 3.5 length. Umbilical cord was smooth, moist, glossy, without any signs of drying. At the static test, was positive. This is evidence that uh, it was a life death. So, whatever must have caused the death of this newborn wasn't in utero. A week ago a 65 year old patient suffered acute myocardial infarction we've explained something like this now patient is having dyspnea and so on at borders see paradoxical pulses to center the place from apex to left edema of lower extremities ascites is present this patient's heart is failing and what's the cause of that at that site of myocardial infarction this patient is having aneurysm like a rupture there or the bulging so this is acute cardiac aneurysm. They give you history of a patient with acute myocardial infarction. This is your patient. You see pulsating blood spots. That is bleeding from an artery. When they tell you about pulsating blood from uh, blood spots or pulsating bleeding, that's from an artery. So they are asking what medical manipulations are required in this uh, case. The correct answer would be to stop the bleeding, and that is by applying a Tourniquet, you see, open tibia fractures. We spoke about some like you apply a tourniquet, but you know, since an artery, you need to stop the blood coming down from the upper vessel. So, you give the tourniquet proximal to the source of bleeding. If you to be a vein, it will have been distal, but proximal to the source of bleeding, that is at the upper part, we vein blood from going down. And that's our previous question that we saw. I said the answer was ileo or sicker imagination. We said it was a tumor, but there was something the option there, like Wim's tumor. Wim's tumor affects the kidney, so it's not intestine. 
a some five year old male patient is reading through school that this patient is having signs of per, uh, signs of appendicitis, acute appendicitis. Yet these symptoms of peritoneal irritation were doubtful in this patient. So specify the doctors for that practice. In such a patient and peritoneal irritation is not like it's absent, it's just doubtful. Please go ahead and do emergency appendic or uh, appendectomy. Emergency operation for acute appendicitis. 56 year old patients and are going to surgical a surgery for seizure repair of perforated ulcer. During the operation, you can discover that patients are having ventricular fibrillation. The first priority measure should be ventricular fibrillation, you defibrillate, rather than opposite. <laughs> Electrical defibrillation. Alright, we spoke about paradoxical dysphoria in one of our questions previously. And now we are having like a similar condition, but in this case, in paradox guys, we are told that the patient is partially passing out urine drop by drop, but we have a uh, positive uh, dullness above the in the superpubic region. But here the patient complains of severe pain in lower abdomen, pain in rectum, intense urge to urinate, and inability to urinate without assistance. Inability without assistance. This is like even a medical assistant, not that somebody is holding. Abdomen palpation if is a moderately painful globular formation above previous days. Percussion dullness over the formation. So it's noted that there's a difference already in this question. There, patient could still pass as an amount of even as drops and then there's bulging above. But here the patient having severe pain cannot pass at this. This is a patient with acute urinary uh, retention. Okay, final question. Uh, for fight two of surgery, I hope you are enjoying your study so far. I trust in God for massive success in our crop. A 24 year old patient had been delivered to the thoracic department with a chest injury and say fracture of fourth, fifth, sixth rib on the right. Plain radiography shows fluid level in the pleural cavity, which in the third rib on the right. You see, they are telling that puncture blood contains clots. What is the optimal treatment uh, tactics? In this uh, particular patient, we need incision to assess the thorax. In thoracostomy, as we've seen in previous question, is like creating a drainage and opening to get that right to drain. In thoracotomy, uh, emergency thoracotomy, we need to open up this uh, thorax and carry out the um, drainage in this patient. So this patient is having puncture of blood clots. We have fluid level at the thorax up to this level. So that is all uh, for now. Don't confuse with prayer puncture because of this blood uh, clots. Have a beautiful day.